What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Bruce. This is what's popping and in today's video we are unboxing six mystery ones from the Noble Collection that we picked up over at the Shire. That is right guys, in today's video we have our first ever mystery wand unboxing right here on the channel. I've wanted to do this video for quite a while, it's just been very difficult to get mystery ones here in South Africa. Uh, that is of course until I found them on the Shire's website. If you guys don't already know, the Shire is a company here in South Africa that brings in a ton of Warner Brothers merchandise, which means they bring in Game of Thrones stuff, they bring in Lord of the Rings stuff, but mainly their main focus is Harry Potter stuff. And I've done some unboxings from them before. We checked out some Harry Potter mystery cubes. I'll leave a link up here, you can go check it out. And uh, I've also covered them a little bit at Comic Con because they've always had amazing stalls at Comic Con. So check that out up here. I'll leave links, you know, after you've seen this video, go check those videos out to see a bit more about what the Shire is all about. The Shire have also recently opened a brand new store in Hillcrest down in KZN. So it is a beautiful looking store from what I've seen. They have a butter beer bar, they have tons of merchandise. It's just a really cool store. So a lot of the stuff you find in the online store uh, actually you know is only available or is not available uh, a lot of stuff isn't available on the online store and is only available in store but I did see these ones um, with their recent opening they brought in a lot of new merchandise so I did see these ones and I went ahead and picked up six of them to unbox here with you guys on the channel. This wand series is from the Noble Collection. They are plastic ones so these aren't your you know your Noble Collection replica ones. They are made by the Noble Collection but they're, they're sort of a plastic replica and this this is the Professor series. So this is series three of the wand collection and uh, these are all Professor ones. We have the Elder wand, we have um, Let's have a look at that. Flitrix wand, we have Remus Lupin, Minerva McGonagall, Alistair Moody, Horace Slughorn, Severus Snape, Pomona Sprout, and Sybil Trelawney. So some really cool ones, some pretty different ones that you don't see a ton of. So it's a really nice collection uh, and that's what sort of drew me to them as well. But uh, let's get into unboxing these and chat a little bit more about the ones as we go about opening them up. Right guys, so let's get into it. You will notice we are doing our unboxings a little bit differently. Usually I sort of open it up and we have a look at it that way. But today I'm going to open them with you on screen so you get as much excitement and surprise as I do. And like I said, we have nine ones in the set. It is a considered a special edition series. It is series three of these ones. Uh, nine ones in the set. We have six of them. So, you know, hopefully we don't get any duplicates and we get as many of the nine as we can. Each wand does come with a Dark Horse Professor icon. So I, from, what I, from what I see here, it looks like a pretty cool sort of stand um, that each wand will come with and uh, it'll hopefully fit quite snugly in that stand and look pretty cool. We have the Elder Wand, we have Phyllis Flitwick, Remus Lupin, Minerva McGonagall, Alistair Moody, Horace Slughorn, Severus Snape, Pomona Sprout and Sybil Trelawney. So you know just to get any of these will be really cool. I do have a Noble Collection collectible wand of the Elder Wand from Universal Studios over in, in the United States at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. So if we do get one of those it might be quite nice to do a, a bit of a comparison between the two and see what they look like but let's get straight into it I'm not sure you know from what I've seen if there's any sort of um, major difference in you know the rarity of the ones I mean we do see on the packaging we have Horace Slughorn's wand here on the front and we have Snape's wand shown over there uh, shown over there so I don't know I mean that's on, on the front of all the ones I don't know if there's a difference in the rarity um, you know between these different ones if one wand is, is rarer than the other but uh, let's have a look and see what we can find out neat so each of these come in their own little Harry Potter box which I think is, is pretty cool nicely packaged uh, beautiful packaging really I mean this is actually a nice a nice display piece to maybe keep behind your wand uh, it's not an Ollivander box by any means but I think it's really cool let's go ahead and, and open this up and let's see what our first wand is so I'm just gonna pull it right there, open up, and let's see who we got. We got, I can't tell just yet. This to me looks like, I'm gonna say Pomona Sprout's wand. I think, I think she's got a pretty basic wand. It looks really cool, let's have a look. Okay, cool, so underneath here we have the stand. That is very, very neat. So we have the Hogwarts stand underneath here and we see there is the logo. So that will definitely be Pomona Sprout. It is the Mandrake. Oh, and I see her name is also on the stand. That is really, really neat. Let's open this up quickly. Out these plastic things. I think you need a spell to open most of them. There we go. So there is Pomona Sprout's stand with her little Mandrake that clips in there. Oh, that clips in there really snugly. That's really cute. 
nice and heavy there's a good heft to this it's a really nice icon so i like i really like that the way it's clipped in there and the hogwarts crest at the back so let's see how the wand actually fits in here is the wand of course beautifully done i like the way that it sort of tapers toward the, the the coloring towards the ends and even though it's plastic you can see a bit of the really nice detailing they've done on the actual wand here so you can see the paintwork has been really nicely applied to texture it all the way through so it does actually look like wood but it is of course a plastic one so let's see you go ahead and fit promoters one into the stand and there we have Pomona Sprout's wand. That is really neat. I really like that wand. So we'll put her aside there. Considering all of the plastic and the amount of crinkling and mandrake screaming that's probably coming through the camera, I decided to go ahead off screen and just unwrap all of them. So we just have the boxes now to open rather. I don't know, it'll just make the whole process a little bit smoother and, uh, you know, a little bit less irritating noise for you on the other side. So let's go ahead. Let's see who we got second after Pomona Sprout. And I'm just going to one, two, three. Oh, I'm opening these, all of these from the wrong side. So we have a black tip one. And yes, it is Professor Snape. That is an awesome one. Really cool one for any potion collector, any yeah, any Snape fan. I mean, obviously Snape is just such an epic character. Beautifully done wand. Again, very simple wand. Uh, I like, um, I must admit, I quite in, enjoy the simple ones. Um, you know, when they haven't done too much to them. I, I love the handle on Snape's wand. I think that is just, you know, obviously that's where they've placed all of the detail. His uh, icon, as we can see here, looks like it's a cauldron. Beautiful cauldron over open flame, which I think looks absolutely epic. We can go ahead and pop that in there. And there goes Snape's one. And let's go ahead and check that out. That is a really cool looking wand. I absolutely love what they've done with Snape. You know, that to me captures, I love it when the wand captures the essence of the character. And in this case, you know, that is kind of Snape. He's dark, mysterious, but also, you know, when you actually consider the character's total motivations, he's kind of, you know, simple, you know, in his, in his plans. He, he keeps things simple, he keeps things elegant. And I think the wand reflects that absolutely perfectly, that sort of black tip. But at the end, there's, there's a lot more going on there. It might appear Quite simple at first and then when you look at the at the grip of his wand there's a lot more going on there with that beautiful intricate filigree all over the handle let's go into one number three it'll be halfway through our unboxing one two three ah oh, you see my tip again this oh my okay guys we got slughorn's wand this has got to be slughorn's wand right yes we got slughorn's wand like i said at the beginning of the video this is the one i probably wanted the most just look at that guys that is such a cool wand and you know i was just saying wands fitting characters what could fit horace slughorn better the, the head of the slug club better than a slug at the tip of his wand look how beautiful that is his wand you know almost looks marbled i think that is that is a stunning feature for his for his uh, for his wand his little icon if we have a look here is of course the hourglass now that is the hourglass um that changes you know the the pace that the grains fall through the hourglass changes as the conversation becomes more or less exciting or interesting and a nice little snakes on there as well so they even go into the detail of putting the snakes because of course a uh, horror slughorn is first and foremost a slytherin so there is his wand absolutely stunning wand i'm not disappointed i must say guys i was i was a bit nervous about some of these ones at first i thought you know they i know they're going to be plastic uh, i know noble collection make great stuff but you still think to yourself you know these ones are going to be plastic are they going to be worth it uh, and so far, I must say, not disappointed at all. And we've gone three for three. We haven't pulled a duplicate yet. So, fingers crossed, we can keep that up and uh, go through all of these without pulling a single duplicate. Let's go into our fourth wand and open that up. Let's see in three, two, one. Oh, guys, this is the Elder Wand. If you haven't noticed that straight away, then you are not a proper potter head. This is definitely the Elder Wand. Again, so we have Dumbledore's wand here. Beautiful wand. And... Okay. You know, I keep going on about ones that represent characters. This is just a stunning, stunning one. I do, as I mentioned earlier, have the Noble Collection version of this. Well, the, the, the collectible version, I should rather say. Uh, looks, you know, just at a first glance, it's pretty similar to, to the one I got from Wizarding World. Uh, my, uncle, my uncle visited them, or visited the park, I should rather say, a couple of years ago. And I asked him, I said, if there's one thing I want is a Elder one. So... I do have something to compare this against, but let's have a quick close-up of this wand first, just by itself. I mean, beautifully done wand. Um, the detail on this wand is absolutely phenomenal. It's, it's again, you know, what, what they've managed to do with the Elder Wand, in my opinion, is create a, a detailed wand, but at the same time, keep it simple. You can see that this is a powerful wand, but at the same time, it, it's, you know, there's 
you, you can still see the knobs and the and the bits of wood from from which it was carved it, it really keeps to its to its roots which i think is absolutely stunning so here is the wand in its stand uh, beautiful beautiful display guys I must say these all together in a display will look absolutely amazing for any party collector this you know to have a wand collection is, is something I haven't really had in the past and you know that was kind of the motivation behind buying these boxes in the first place was to sort of get a, a wand collection going but these as display pieces with these stands just absolutely incredible I've got here um, the Elder Wand from Wizarding World, uh, Wizarding World of Harry Potter, and I would say the main difference if I if I take the two ones and sort of compare them side by side, is the length for a start. So your Elder Wand from Wizarding World is about, gosh, so much so much shorter. I would say that's probably about 15 centimeters. 10, 15 centimeters shorter. Um, otherwise, you know, it's got a bit of a gloss to it. You definitely wouldn't want to be waving the collectible version around. It, this is definitely more of a resin one. It's a, it sits a lot heavier in the hand. Whereas your this version, you know, I feel like these ones, as great as they are for display pieces, they would also be great cosplay props. And anybody going to a convention or dressing up as a wizard, dressing up as a Dumbledore, a Slughorn, a Snape, a Pomona Sprout would definitely do well to have one of these on their person. I think. You know, aside from a couple of colouring differences here, where the where the where these sort of runes are carved in, they much of a muchness these ones. And I find, you know, as you go around the, the Potter collecting community, there's so many different versions of ones and different, even within the Noble Collection, different types of ones you can buy. And sometimes all the the only difference between them is, you know, the the packaging that they come in. So I think these are pretty much the same as the open ones, uh, the, uh, the open ones, the the normal sort of plastic ones that the Noble Collection makes, uh, they come with bookmarks. I think these are these are fairly similar, if not exactly the same. But what's nice about these is you obviously have the mystery of opening the mystery box uh, and finding out your wand, as well as the beautiful stands. These stands, to me, absolutely make this display. Because when you're normally displaying wands, if you display them horizontally, they can take up a ton of space. Whereas these, you can maybe have one shelf with all of your wands on it, and I think it'll look absolutely stunning. Let's get into our second last wand here, guys. I'm gonna open it there with you in three, two, one. Let's hope we don't get a double. Oh, wow, this looks like, I think this is McGonagall's wand. This is a stunning, stunning wand. Beautifully done. These ones, I must say, I mean, like I said at the beginning, I was a little bit nervous about some of these and how they were going to come out. Are they going to be worth it? For the price point, I think these are definitely worth it, guys. Um, from the from the Shire... Oh, nice. We get a little Noble Collection booklet in here as well. So the others didn't come with this, but this one's got a Noble Collection booklet, which shows off a whole range of the Noble Collection stuff. If you bought anything from Noble Collection, their plushies, their uh, resin figures, whatever it might be, you will have received one of those booklets, I'm sure, at some point in the past. But here we have McGonagall's wand, and her symbol that they've gone and chosen to put with her stand is, of course, a cat. Uh, what McGonagall is able to transform herself into, as Ron so eloquently points out in the first movie. That was bloody brilliant. Oh, thank you for that assessment, Mr. Weasley. Yes, well, Ron always was one with his words. He was always a, a very, uh, let's say, and a very uh, well-spoken young man, let's put it that way. But here is McGonagall's wand with the stand, and again, a beautiful, beautiful one. Guys, we've gone five for five. We have pulled five wands out of our six and received five different ones. How insane is that? Like I said, I ordered these just off the Shire's website, so I had no way of feeling them or, you know, trying to see if some were heavier than others or anything like that. Uh, so this is just just pretty much good luck, I would say. Um, I don't know in the boxes, you know, like with Mystery Minis, with Funko Mystery Minis, you can try and figure out how many items or how many different versions of each character might be in a box. You get 1 in 12, 1 in 24, 1 in 6. With these, I have no idea how many are in a box, how many different ones maybe in a box if it's just randomly assorted if you might get a whole box of elder ones i'm not sure but uh we've been very lucky guys i can't i can't complain at all let's go for the last one see if we can go six for six and not pull any duplicates in three two one and we pulled another elder wand okay well guys that's not the end of the world uh, like I said, we've ended up buying 60s. I'm not going to go ahead and open this now. We've already done uh, an Elder Wand unboxing here. So I'm not going to open that one up. But we've gone 6 out of 9. Uh, 5 out of 9 is not bad at all when you consider that we only bought 6 of the wands. So what do we miss out on? Let me have a quick look here. 
We ended up getting two older ones. Not too bad. I think if you're gonna get a duplicate, the older ones are a pretty cool duplicate to, be, to get, let's be honest. Especially considering that Harry, you know, snaps one in half and, and chucks it off the bridge at Hogwarts. Uh, we didn't get Flitwick. We got, we didn't get Lupin. I think they could have done better with Lupin in terms of his uh, icon. I think they could have done something with a werewolf would have been quite cool. Uh, they put the Boggart, uh, the Boggart cabinet. I think they could have probably done a little bit better there. We did get McGonagall. We didn't get Moody. I think Moody would be my next choice that I would love to get out of this one collection. What I really like about his, obviously the icon is his eye. I mean, what more, how more iconic, iconic. Um, what more could you sort of ask for in terms of his icon? It would have to be his eye, but what I love about his wand is his detail all the way through. And you guys know me, I'm, I'm a stickler for detail. I absolutely love figures that have detail, I love wands that have detail. Um, and just because something's detail doesn't mean it has to be complicated. You can keep something really simple and keep that detail in there. And that's what I feel like they've done with that Moody's wand. What I really like about it is it, it also seems to resemble his staff that we see him walking with, so it's kind of like a two-in-one. And I think that's a really cool touch. We did, of course, get Slughorn, which is probably the one I wanted the most out of all of these ones. We got Snape, we got Pomona Sprout, and we missed out on Sybil Trelawney. Now, she looks like she has a really cool wand. Uh, I can see from the from the top there, we have some runes on the wand. We have, you know, some fine finer details work going down towards the bottom. To me, it's kind of like a combination of Hermione and Sirius's wands, if you had to compare the two. And she also has a beautiful, beautiful icon there with the elephants holding up a divination ball. So that is the, the six that we got, guys. I think we did pretty well. Let me know in the chat down below what you think of this haul. Do you think that these ones are worth buying? Do you think they are, you know, uh, a good find? Or would you rather go into a store, pay a little bit extra, and get the wand you want in a replica format, where you feel like you can just go in and get a collectible that you can store on your shelf? Or, you know, do you want something that plays a bit of a collectible role and a bit of a cosplay role, which I think these ones will do really, really well. That about does it for today's video guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I absolutely love unboxing mystery items. It's one of the coolest things to do on YouTube in my opinion uh, or on a collecting YouTube channel anyways. So if you did enjoy this video and you want to see more from me in the future, please go ahead, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and I will see all of you guys in a future video.